Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cybersecurity Meg and I'm super stoked that you're here. And that's because today is the first time that I'm getting to sit down and talk to you guys about a security tool that I personally use, enjoy and love, and I think you will too. It's called ShiftLeft, it's a SaaS tool. If you haven't heard of a SaaS tool, what that is, is it's a static application security testing tool. And whether you are on blue team, red team, purple team, if you work in application testing, vulnerability management, if you're working in penetration testing, this tool is going to be extremely useful and applicable to you. I'll have a link for it down in the description box of the video so you can sign up if you want. It's free with premium options. I highly recommend it, regardless of whether you are a entry level person trying to get into the cybersecurity field or if you are an experienced professional with many years under your belt. I find that you will use this tool and get a lot of benefit from it. So let's get right into it. I want to show you a bit about the tool, tell you why I like it, give you my impressions of it, etc. So a shift left, like I mentioned, is a SaaS tool, a static application security testing. What it's going to do is it's going to scan the source code of an application. And one thing that I really enjoy about shift left is the ability to seamlessly integrate your GitHub to the tool. So if you have a repo, perhaps it's JavaScript, Terraform, what have you in your GitHub, and you want to be able to scan that source code for any sort of vulnerability, if you want to match it to the OWASP top 10, you have the extremely easy and efficient way of doing so. So all you would do is go to the link that's in the description box in the video, sign up. Like I said, you can create a completely free account and you can scan up to 200,000 lines of code. You can do 300 scans per app per year, or if you really enjoy it like I do, you can sign up for the premium version. So I wanted to give you a bit of an overview of what shift left looks like, some of the functionalities of it that I really enjoy and why I think it's useful regardless of whether you're working for an enterprise an SMB or if you're like me and you're just super curious about what kind of vulnerabilities you can identify in the code that you're making or the code that you're using for that matter of fact. So this is a demo that we have here that's already been loaded. The code, the source code's already been um, uploaded and scanned by shift left. It was super quick. And right now we're looking at Java code. So what I really enjoy right off the bat about shift left is the GUI. Thank goodness they offer a dark mode option. It's 2021 and I feel like so many security companies are only offering the standard very extremely bright mode, which hurts my eyeballs. So. First off the bat, I really enjoy the GUI. I feel like when applications don't have strong GUIs, it makes it much more difficult to use. So props to shift left for creating an incredible GUI that's extremely easy to navigate and also easy on the eyes. What I really enjoy about the um, the reporting on the applications and shift left is that they make it so easy to break it down by what exactly you're looking for. So we can see right here that you have the total number of findings for the source code that was scanned. And then of course they break it down further into whether it's a critical moderate or if it's just simply an informational kind of alert. I also really like that they identify and provide easy access to hard coded credentials, perhaps it's an API key or some password, which most likely your password is probably going to be admin for your username that is admin. Let's be honest here. Uh, let's reference SolarWinds. <laughs> What I also really enjoy, if you come right over here to the vulnerabilities tab, you can sort by whatever floats your boat. So if you want to go by severity, which is typically what I would be sorting by, then you can get the highest CVSS score and it's going to identify them based upon severity. If I scroll down, you can see that we start getting into the more moderate findings. And then at the very bottom, you'll also get the informational. Now it's also really spiffy and helpful about this is you can sort by OWASP category. So perhaps if you are using the shift left tool to identify the vulnerabilities by criticality or by the OWASP category, and then you're going to hand off that list to your DevSecOps team, they can very easily and very much in an organized and controlled manner identify what is the top priority. And then they can also work on the specific OWASP category and eliminate that vulnerability at once. So if you're really feel fearful about deserialization or if you're looking at sensitive data exposure, whatever it may be, you can simply export this list, give it to your DevSecOps team or whoever is responsible for the remediation of the vulnerabilities, and they can extremely easy go in and get that done. 
Again, what I also really like and find to be extremely helpful is how organized the tool is. So for instance, right off the bat, if you click over here on the secrets tab, it's going to tell you exactly what it's finding in the source code. We all know nowadays, especially with everyone being on GitHub, that accidentally hard coding your credentials or API keys or whatever it is into your code is absolutely terrible and leads to so many issues. Like I was referencing the solar winds attack earlier. This is the source of so many breaches and so many incidents in security that could be easily avoided. So what I really enjoy about ShiftLeft is they are right off the bat, letting you know exactly what credentials or what kind of sensitive information is within your source code. That way you can easily eliminate it and check it off, mark it as done, call it a day. You can also, for any kind of senior level management or anyone who's using this within an SMB or enterprise, go over to the reporting tab and it's going to tell you over time what your findings are. So ideally, of course, if you're scanning things on a regular basis, your applications, you're going to want to be seeing that trending going down so you know that your DevSecOps team or security operations or application security, whomever's working on it, that they are getting things done, they're getting the vulnerabilities remediated, and thus there's going to be less risk represented to your company. Now, for me personally, since I use this as a personal user, I enjoy this because A, it's great to go and kind of touch up my skills as opposed to manually going through code and reviewing and trying to identify the vulnerabilities and map it to OWASP and identify the CVSS scores and the criticalities, which is obviously a very time consuming process. Instead, for me, even if I'm writing my own code and programming, I can just um, upload it to my GitHub repo, add it to shift left, and then shift left within a matter of minutes manages to scan it and provide me with an output that tells me exactly what is insecure about my code, which we would all like to think that our code is extremely secure, but let me tell you, it's not. So that is shift left. I think it is a fantastic tool. Again, it's completely free, or if you really enjoy it like I do, you can sign up for the premium account. Uh, my link is down in the description box below. I hope you find this tool to be super informative and super useful because I think everyone has a purpose for it and can totally use it. And if you have any questions about it, then just comment down below. Let me know. I'm happy to help you out. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.